Nadiyatu Nadiyah Maryamu Raja Raja doesn't change Takbir Shafiqun Shafiq With Qalqala Utiya kitabahu Bishimadih Wa amma Man utiya Kitabahu Bishimadih Fayaqulu ya laytani Lam uta kitabiyah Wa amma man utiya kitabahu bishimalihi Fayaqulu ya laytani lam uta kitabiyah Faam Yalla Tiya kitab Bishimalihi Ya Lam ut Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, you made me happy. May Allah make you happy. Say Amin. Allah give you ice cream. You said Amin. May Allah give you ice cream. When you get married, you go back. Only married men sit there. Thank me here. Get ready. Ya Suhail. Walam adri ma hisabiyah. يا ليتها كانت القاضية يا ليتها كانت القاضية ما أغنى عني ما ما أغنى هلك عني سلطانية خذوه فغلوه ثم الجحيم صلوه صلوه ثم في سلسلة ذرعها ذرعها سبعون ذراعا ذرعها سبعون ذراعا فاسلكوه سبعون ذراعا فاسلكوه إنه كان لا يؤمن بالله العظيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين فليس له اليوم ها هنا حميم ولا طعام من غسلين لا يأكله إلا الخاطئون Panjang La ya'kuluhu La ya'kuluhu You see that? Small sign Wherever you see this sign This one On an alif 
you find this. On a wow, you find it. And on a ya, you find it. Here it means six seconds. Nasrullahi wal fatih. Here. La ya'kuluhu. Here it is. La ya'kuluhu. Here, six seconds. Microphone. It must be Brother Lat. Troublemaker. Takmir. And then, ya. When you see this, you must go six seconds. I say six because you give me four. Takmir. Okay. Yalla. One more time. لا يأكله إلا الخاطئون كله إلا الخاطئون perfect perfect one more time فلا here it is فلا أقسم بما تبصرون وما لا تبصرون إنه لقول رسول كريم وما هو بقول شاعر وما هو بقول شاعر قليلا ما تؤمنون ولا بقول كاهن قليلا ما تذكرون تنزيل من رب العالمين ولو تقول علينا بعض الأقاويل ولو تقينا بعض الأقاويل لا أخذنا منه باليمين ثم لقطعنا منه الوتين Which I are we in? 46, now 47, يلا فما منكم من أحد عنه حاجزين وإنه لتذكرة للمتقين لنعلم أن منكم مكذبين وإنه لحسرة على الكافرين وإنه لحق اليقين فسبح باسم ربك العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم
I said sabbih, so we say subhana rabbi al azim. Good, very good. On the day of judgment, which is inevitable, no one will avoid it, no one will miss it. In any day, you can miss something. You oversleep, you miss an event, you forget. A human being will miss. The good, the bad, the prophets, the ugly people, everybody, everybody will be gathered. On that day, there will be two types of people. The people of paradise and the people of hell. The people of paradise will come on the right hand side of Allah's throne. When Allah judges, He tells them, move to the right hand side of my throne. So, you move. May Allah make us amongst them. Say, Amin. The bad ones, including many Muslims. You think all Muslims will go to Jannah? You think all Muslims will go to paradise? The Muslim who doesn't pray, doesn't fast. No salat, no siyam, no zakat, no hajj. Yam sing, yam sing. Thank you. Muslims who are hypocrites, they call themselves, they spy on Muslims, they harm Muslims. Children who don't listen to their mothers, their fathers, they give hard time to mother, make her cry, make her father worry. So they will be on the left hand side. Let's see what Allah said about them. Yal. Who memorizes this surah? Raise hand. Speak the truth. Daniel, Bush Sharifa, Suhail. Among the girls? Good. Uh, encourage your daughters to memorize as much as they can. Sikit, sikit, jadi bukit. Okay? Good. All right. Uh, start with Suhail. The English. Verse 19. That's where we stopped last time. Very good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after he judges us, he sends our books to us. Your books will fly. And every book knows you. Your book doesn't come to me. My book doesn't go to you. It flies and comes to you. There are people who take their books with their right hand. You find yourself automatically. Your hand goes to it. Hold it. This is my book. Alhamdulillah. And there are those, the left hand will take the book. We saw this. We explained there was a similar surah before. Now we know, you know why we say right, you use your right hand? Always use your right hand. Even if you write with the left, you must eat with the right. You must eat with the right. Do everything with the right. Except toilet, you use the left. Okay, let's see. That person who receives, yes? Huh? We stopped at 12. Tafsir? Not, not, uh, not 19? Where did, you, where did I get this from? Takbir. Thank you, sisters, for reminding us. Okay. Let's go back to verse nine, uh, 13. Right? We stopped at 12. We did 12? Yes, 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 I remember now. The story of Nuh alayhi salam. All right, on the day of judgment, look what happens, children. The angel Israfil will blow in the, the, the trumpet. What is the trumpet? A horn, a horn. Allah knows how big the horn is. The horn of angels, do you think the, the horn of buffalo? When he blows, there are two blows. One blow destroys the universe. We all die. 
and only the bad guys will die because we are already dead. The good, the good people like you and me, already dead, long time ago. So we will not see the horrible Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Hari Qiyamah, when, when things start falling, explosions in the oceans, volcano, uh, earthquakes swallowing people, monsters eating people, inshallah we won't be here, say Amin. We already dead. The second blow is to wake up. Here, it is the first one. The first blow. When Israfil blows in the sur, into the trumpet, only one blow. He will just do, Allah knows how. Let's say, only one blow. The whole universe will collapse. Not Earth only, planet Earth. Everything comes to collapse. May Allah have mercy on us. On that, look what happens to earth. Yalla, next. Daniel, 14. And the earth and the mountains shall be removed from their places. Allahu Akbar. With that blow, earth, planet earth, will move out its place. It's no more in its orbit. Allahu Akbar. A shout that will move planet Earth from its orbit. Do you know what does that mean? No gravity. Scientifically, no gravity. The gravity ends. And the Earth spins, gets out from it. Not only that, the mountains themselves will be removed. What type of power that will remove? Sometimes your dentist finds it very difficult to remove your tooth. Your tooth the dentist is struggling just to remove it. And what is a tooth compared to a dentist? So the mountains will be removed. Do you know what does that mean, my children? Inshallah, we won't be there. I mean, okay, good. What else? Munir, raise your voice. Ah, on that day, the inevitable has come. When you see the mountains removed from their places, the earth spinning in this universe, halas, that is the day of judgment. No one can make anything. Allah destroyed his own creation. For what? For judgment day. He is going to gather us. Good. What happens to the sky? Let's see what happens to the sky, the next verse. If the earth and the mountains will be moved out of their places, what happens to the sky? Let's see. And the sky? Oh. The sky becomes frail. What is frail? What is frail? Weak. Huh? The sky becomes weak? Yes. The sky is very strong. Look at the creation of Allah. It becomes weak. And torn. Like an old cloth that you tear it. The sky will become like that. Allahu Akbar. The sky, the sky is bigger than the earth. Yes. So what happens? Fire in the house. What happens that day? Give him the English book. Give him the book. Push the book to him. He will read. Then he will give it to you. Don't worry. He will not take it home with him. Parents, didn't I tell you buy books to your children? Didn't I say that last week? Why? If it was uh, Nike shoes, you would have bought it for them. See, you are not serious about akhirah of your kids. I said, every child should come with his 
Mushaf. All of you bring your own Mushaf from now on. Yalla. Good. Good. Not bad at all. And the Malaika will be on the borders of the sky, standing. Now you see the angels. You didn't see them in this dunya. On that day you see them. Every human being will see the angels. Even the bad ones, the kafir, yes. Because they have to see that they, when Allah told them, I have angels, they should have believed. What does it mean you love someone? Love is all about what? Trust. You didn't trust Allah. When he told you there are angels, you were making fun. Here they are now. So they will be filling all the borders of the sky. That is already destroyed. But there will be eight special angels. Who are they? The carriers of the throne of Allah. Eight angels will carry the throne of God on their shoulders. You know how big is this angel? Remember the angels that I told you will pull hellfire between the ear of one of them and the shoulder of one of them, which is not too much. This is what? What? 10 centimeters? 70,000 years running on a horse. You need 70,000 years, not 70 years. You're running on a horse 70,000 years to cross this. So eight angels, they are the greatest angels. They carry the throne of Allah. We will see them. Oh my God. So it's another world. Because we are too small to see things. We cannot even understand the distance from here to, for example, Ipo. We have to drive it to understand it. Oh. So Allah Azza wa will give us another form of creation. So that we comprehend a bigger world. Because with this mind, we can't, we can't even understand many small things. Okay. On that day, when the angels line up and eight angels will carry the throne of Allah Azza wa Jal, what happens next? On that day you will be brought to judgment. Not a single secret will not be revealed. Children, all your secrets will be revealed. So what do you want? Bad secrets or good secrets? Imagine you used to take good care of someone, anak yatim, and nobody knew about it. No one, not even your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. On that day we will know. MashaAllah, it was you who used to take good care of. Imagine you were doing something haram and nobody knew. You thought nobody knew. Huh? You were sinning something, something, I don't know what is it, you know. And you thought nobody knows. You forgot that Allah is with you, that your angels are recording. You know there are CCTVs, right? There is something called CCTV. Do you have CCTV here? Okay. CCTV, if you go to a bank, there is always CCTV. Now, almost in every crossroad in, in KL there is CCTV well you think government has CCTV and Allah doesn't have CCTV who is greater very good so he has his CCTVs too but we don't see them they are there ah, all the time good so on that day Allah will bring us all we parade in front of him and he will judge us. And all our secrets, good or bad, will be revealed. Sheikh, to people? No, to you. Allah will not expose you. Unless you have harmed someone, you never apologized. For example, you killed someone and nobody knew it was you. Oh my God. You'll be brought. This is the man who killed so-and-so. 
You, we thought you were, ah. But if you made tawbah to Allah, okay, good. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ Back to, yes, to you, 19. Very good. The person who has received us amongst them, say, Amin. Those people will say, hey, guys, read my book. Here is my book. He's so happy. Look, Allah has given me my book with my right hand side. What does that mean? It means you're going to Jannah. So you'll be so happy to share the information. You're proud. Like if you write a very good book and you want everybody to read it. Okay, good. Isn't that good? You want people to read what you have done so they can see from the young age you have been praying five times a day. It's written. Every Wednesday, Friday, you used to attend class with Sheikh Zubair. Written. You used to be very good son to your mom and dad. Good daughter. Good wife. Good mother. Everything written. Let's see. What does he say after that? Next. Inni. Very good. Surely I did believe that I shall meet my account. I knew. I knew Allah will give me this. Because in dunya you were believing in him. Do you have any doubt? Children, do you have any doubt that Allah Azza wa will show you your book? Not. This means yes. This means no. Don't confuse. Do you doubt? Maybe. Maybe you say no one has gone there and came back to tell us. Girls, any one of you doubt that on, on the Day of Judgment Allah will give you your book? I have no doubt. Allah will give me my book and hopefully with my right hand, if I do good. If I do bad, oh, I'm sorry, it's the, with the left hand. Okay, what else? So you say, I, am sh I was sure guys that Alhamdulillah Allah will pay me back for my good work, for my good ibadah and this and that. Good, what else? Next. He shall be where? Pleasing. Very good. He will be in a life well pleasing. Life well pleasing? The life pleases you in paradise. Not you are pleased only. Life there makes you happy. Wait a minute, again, again. Here, here. Sometimes you are pleased, sometimes you are up. not pleased. Why? Because the life, it depends. Traffic jam makes you upset. Right? Um, I don't know. Someone in the morning say something bad to you. No, no, no. There, there is nothing that will disturb you. Nothing. Everything pleases you. Anything you look at it, pleases you. Smell it, pleases you. Anything you taste it, pleases you. Anyone who talks to you, pleases you. No one will ever make you upset. MashaAllah. Isn't that good? Very good. So Allah says, فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةٍ رَضِيَةٍ That person who got his book with the right hand side and never doubted Allah to give him his account, that person will have a very pleasing life. Life pleases you. Not you live to please yourself. Oh my God, that's too deep. What I'm saying is deep, children. What is it? Sometimes, I am in a lot of stress. I leave that, go to a place to get some rest. No, no, no. In Jannah, there is nothing that stresses you out. Everything pleases you. What do you like, children? 
Now, now, what, what comes in your mind? What, 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 what is the thing that you like? Now. Yes. Ice cream. Good. You know, can ice cream come now? Now, now, right when you said, mm, I, I wish for some ice cream. In Jannah, you just wish it, it comes. How about that? And not Hagen Das, Baskin Robin. Is a real one. Made by who? By angels. What's in your mind? Nothing. Huh? Quran. You read Quran. No, food, food, drink. Huh? What? Food? Phone? Phone? iPhone? <laughs> Yes, anything you want. How about you? Huh? Speak up, I'm not, I'm not going to eat you. Big house, how big? Istana? Istana Nagara? Maybe. Allah gives you bigger than that. Girls, yes. Huh? What is it? Pizza, but not Papa John's or Domino. Better, Takmir. So mothers, the girls want pizza. I hope you brought some pizza. That's what they mean. Huh? What else? Video game, no problem, but not violent, because there is no violence there. Okay. Good. All right. Girls now. I stop there. Girls. Uh, start with? Yes. So he is in a very pleasing life. Where is that life? Verse 22. In a lofty paradise. Don't forget where you're going. You're not going to Valencia area. You're not going to uh, Damansara Heights. You're not going to Sirin Kiara. Allah, 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 Allah,
وهو حي لا يموت بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم رب هذه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة آت سيدنا محمدا الوسيلة والفضيلة وابعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته إنك لا تخلف الميعاد رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا ورسولا يلا children brother Habib bring all the kids please all right so don't forget where you are heading inshallah this good life exists only in Jannah lofty very high Jannah is high Jahannam is low when you enter Jannah you keep transcending People who enter Jahannam, they keep going down and down and down. Good. Next, uh, her sister. Yalla. Qutufuha Daniya, 23. In Jannah? Ha. Children, question. Do you like the fruits? to be near your hand or too high give you hard time to even get it what a nice durian but I cannot get it it's too high just like this truk, truk. actually you don't even raise your hand why the branches itself comes to you with lot of fruits all the fruits come to you the branch lowers itself to you And the best fruit is the one you take straight from the tree. It wasn't coming from Australia for a month or two. No, straight. From the tree to your stomach. That's the best fruit you ever eat. You cannot get it more fresh than that. You can't. Okay? Subhanallah. Yemen unfortunately that is facing now huge famine women used to carry a bucket on their head and just touch the trees by the time they walk for one 100 meters 200 meters the the basket is full they just touch it it falls in my country the same thing you don't have even to it's already there Subhanallah, these things we see in dunya, let alone in akhirah. So one thing about the fruits of paradise, you don't even make an effort to get them. They are there, close to your hand. Here at least you go to climb the tree and this and that. Okay, good. So do you want this life or the coming one? Na'udhu Billah, we will see which one. What else? What else is in Jannah? Sharifa. What is in Jannah also? Verse 24. Very good. It says, Pay attention. Allah also said, eat and drink in this world. In this world, Allah said to us, eat and drink. But what's the difference? Look. Listen. In this world, Allah said, eat and drink. In this world. But he said something else with it. Wait, don't say it. And in Jannah, in paradise, Allah also said, eat and drink. What's the difference? What's the difference between eating and drinking in this world and eating and drinking in the next? Who knows? Allah says, وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا مَكَان دَنْ مِنُوم Eat and drink, Allah said. But what did He say beside it here in this world? وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا And don't waste. In this world, Allah said, Eat and drink and don't waste. He didn't say that for Jannah. Because there is no wastage in Jannah. In Jannah, eat and drink as much as you want. 
whatever you eat, you don't even use toilet. Huh? You don't even, there is no toilet in paradise. Do you know that? Huh? You don't sweat. You don't defecate. You don't urinate. You don't spit. No mucus comes out from you. No boogers. No tears. You will never be sad. Huh? Yes, no toilet. Sheikh, what does it mean? You think you're, you're going to eat like here? It's not the food of this dunya. And don't worry about it. Allah will take care of it. As if now you take care of your heart. It's you who makes your heart pump. You say to the heart, okay, uh, 6,000 pumping today, okay? I program you. Do you do that? You don't even know. How many breaths per day? You don't even know. When you sleep, who makes you breathe? Same thing. Don't worry. When you enter Jannah, he will dispose your food. Don't worry about how. How? It's not up to you. What is up to you is go to Jannah. Work to go there. What happens to you there is not up to you. But going there is up to you and me. Oh, I see. I see. So Allah says, eat and drink. But he didn't say don't waste. Did you see the difference? Eat and drink. But in dunya he said, eat and drink and don't waste. Uh oh, he said three things. Eat and drink and tida. There is no tida in paradise. Eat and drink. Wow, mashallah. What else? Hani and there, there will be a word beside eat and drink. There will be a very good word. What is it? Hani and Hani and you know what is it? It's like I say. When, when someone eats your food, what do you tell him in Malay, your culture? You say nothing? We the Arabs, we say, Hani and Mari and is a form of, uh, uh, may you be healthy, may you enjoy the food, may, I don't know in other cultures, but in my culture, which is Quranic, Islamic, Hani and Hani and. Not only you are eating, the angels are congratulating you for eating. Oh, Allahu Akbar. Ya Allah, we are already safe from Jahannam. You are feeding us and you gave us the freedom to eat anything and drink anything and any amount. And moreover, you are telling us like congratulations. Wow, that's, that's, that blows the mind. What kind of generosity is this? Because of what you used to do in dunya. You used to be good people. You used to feed anak yatim. You used to fast. You used to share the food like the sisters who bring food every Wednesday and every Friday. And the brothers who sponsor, may Allah reward them. So Allah will say, you eat too. Enjoy. May Allah save us from the people of Jahannam. Let's go back to the boys. Now the people of hell. Those who take their books with their left hand. Uh oh, too bad. May Allah save us from them. Say Amin. Imagine it's you who take his book with the left. Loser. I don't want that. Ya Allah, please save me. Ya Allah, who was the last to read here? Ya Allah, you. Go ahead. No, verse 25. Yes. Very good. But for the person who has been given his book, his record, with the left hand, he is not like the first one. The first one that says what? The man, who, the man or the woman who got the book with the right, what does he say? I... Uh, Offering people a look. Come, look. It's like when you have a nice toy you want to show your friends. 
Hey, God, come, come. You see this game I got? But when you have something ugly, you don't want to show. Would you? Would you show something ugly? I don't know what's, what's wrong with you. In Jahannam, same thing. People are so scared, they don't want to show their books. What do they say? 26. They say, 25, uh, sorry, 25. I wish I was never given my book. I wish I have never known what I have done. No, you have to. Because Allah will not throw you in Jahannam, in Naraka, before he shows you what you have done. Allah is very just. Today there are bad people who throw people in jail for no reason. They don't even tell them, what's the charges? Why, why you put me in jail? They say, I don't care. No, you should say, because you have done this and this. At least, at least fair. No, I'm going to throw you in jail for no reason. Allah will not do that. He will not throw you in hell for no reason. He will show you. This is what you are guilty for. I did all that? Yes, mister. I missed all these days of Salat? Yes. I missed all this Zakat? Yes. I ate, I ate all these days of Ramadan? Yes. I traveled the whole world, but never to Mecca. Yes. I was rude to my mother. Yes, sir. You used to hear Adhan five times a day, but not go to the masjid. Yes. So what do you expect? So Allah will not throw someone in Jahannam before showing him or her what they have done of evil. فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ Finish. Children, wake up. فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَى خير, you see it. Atom. And evil, you see it. Next. Very good. And that I had never known how my account is. I, I, I wish I have never seen my book. I wish I have never seen my account. 27? Next, 27? No. He wishes that he never woke up after death. You know, no one likes death. He's a liar who says, I like death. When death comes, may Allah make it easy on us, is not a good experience, by the way. The person who is going to Jahannam, he says, I wish I died forever. I wish I never woke up. Why? He knows he's going to trouble. Good. What else? Ya laytaha kanat al qadiyah. It's okay, leave it. Ya laytaha kanat al qadiyah. He wishes something else. Next boy. My wealth has not availed me. Talking about wealth, I know some of you are wealthy, mashallah, takbir. I don't know how much you have, don't worry. Listen, the way to book a palace in Jannah is not a good way. Listen carefully, my brothers and sisters. Some of us gather money to die and leave it behind. And not even our wives and children benefit from it. Because we are secretive. Some is in a Cayman Island. Some is in Singapore. Some in Hong Kong. HSBC. Okay, money when Allah gives it to you, be careful. You better use it for his sake. That's why he gave you money. Actually, be smart. When Allah made you wealthy, what does that mean? Meaning he gave you more chances to enter Jannah. Like Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and Khadija, may Allah be pleased with them. If you choose to be like Qarun, no problem. You will have money, abani, harta. But he will end up in Jahannam. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq was rich. He took no penny with him when he died. 
but he goes to Jannah. Qarun was super rich. He took no money with him, but he goes to hell. Here is the difference. The difference is after death, not now. So when Allah gives us money, children, if Allah ever give you money, you become rich, use it for Allah's sake. Build masjid, build schools, build ana yatim, uh, houses. Do good. And girls too, Allah may give you more than your own husbands. And never tell your future husband you are rich because he will marry you for money. That means you are in trouble. You two brothers, never show off. When you want to marry a woman, pretend you are a beggar. If she takes you, then Alhamdulillah, she's a good woman. Don't go with uh, Royce Royce to ask her hand. <laughs> she may look to her, Royce Royce, say yes. She never said yes to you. She said yes to the Royce Royce. Takbir. Did you manage? Not yet? Almost? Okay. Very good. Continue. Next ayah. So the person will wish he has never woken up again after death. Oh my God. No one likes death. You will like death when you see hell. We say, he who sees death will accept fever. We the Arabs, we say, if someone sees death, he will accept fever. Just give me fever, because he saw death. When people see hell, they wish they just die. Although no one likes death. Good. What else? He will say, my wealth did not avail me. My wealth didn't help me. I was wealthy in dunya. Look, it didn't help me. Halaka anni sultania. Next. Very good. My power. I used to be prime minister. I used to be minister. I used to be judge. I used to be pungurusi. I used to be sultan. I used to be raja. No more, Habibi. Why you look at my brother Raja? I mean someone. At least this man is in the masjid. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I wish they were all the Rajas were like him. Takbir. Why don't you run for elections, brother? Takbir. I don't know what's wrong with good people. They don't want to, they don't want to run for office. Takbir. What's wrong with your dogs these few days? Hey, by the way, you have so many dogs on, your, on the way here. So many dogs. You don't go kill them, man. Eh? I didn't say that. See, we're going to hunt for dogs. But no, sometimes they gang. The dogs gang and they may bite someone who is jogging or walking or had a flat tire. You be careful, then. Huh? Okay. He will say, my power did not help me. Oh my God, I was so powerful. I used to have armies. Harun al-Rashid, when he was dying, and you know Harun al-Rashid uh, is the peak of the Islamic power. The peak of Islamic power is Harun al-Rashid time. He told his brothers, get me up. When he felt Sakarat al-Maut, he told them, get me up. Take me to the balcony. And he asked 5% of the army to come and parade. So they brought the elite. The minister went quickly, organized a parade. And then he looked, they were holding him. He was about to fall. They were holding him, his two brothers. And he looked at the parade and he said, Ya man, 9-11, subhanAllah. Ya man, la yazulu mulkuh, irham man zala mulkuh. Which means, oh, the one whose kingdom never ends, have mercy on a king. Who, meaning, I feel it. Uh, is, death is inside me. By the way, you feel it. You feel your legs cannot carry you. And this is Rahmah of Allah. 
that when death starts, it starts with our legs. When we are dying, sisters and brothers, our legs shut down. The first thing, you know why? Because when you start realizing you're dying, you shuts you down. He turns off the engine, your, your legs, you cannot run. So you die in that place. Because when a person realizes the angel of death has come, he starts takut. And when you're takut, you can run anywhere. Anywhere. You will walk on fire, you will hit a train, you, you panic. So Allah out of his mercy, shuts you down. Khalas, your time has come, you have to go. So that's why the feet becomes ice cold. Cold like ice. Subhanallah. So may Allah have make it mercy, make it easy on us when time comes. Amen. Okay. After he realizes that neither his money nor his power. Some people have both, have a lot of money and a lot of power. Some people have one of them, money or power. But it did not help you, Mister, Mrs. It didn't help you. Now it cannot help you. I always tell people who have bodyguards, and I'm not against bodyguards, but I'm against the mentality to have a bodyguard for a child. A child, you have bodyguard. Yeah, because, because you are takot, what will happen to your child? You may have done something wrong. Takbir. I tell them, just tell your bodyguard to stop death. When the angel of death is coming, to intercept him and say, sir, sir uh, not today, please. He will not even care. He will take you and your bodyguards. How about that? <laughs> the angel of death has the power to take millions of life in a second. Like Hiroshima, 100,000 100, people died in a second. He just passed like this. Allahu Akbar, the power of the angel of death. Okay. Let's see this death now, since we are talking about death. Watch. Everybody, please, including... Turn off the... Hold on. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. This is sudden death. You can die anytime. Come here, kids. Come here. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Repeat, please. Restart, restart. Okay, look, he's dancing, enjoying. <laughs> Suddenly, look. Salat. Look there, look at that man, this man, look. Look. He doesn't wake up. He's singing, playing Yorg. That's it. Watch, watch. Watch, watch. He's talking to his mother, look at that. Sudden. He's robbing someone. Look at the thief. He died while stealing. Praying early in Jumu'ah. He came very early, that man. Look at him. MashaAllah. Jumu'ah early. Sheikh is teaching. Look at that. Look at him. Allah.
Look at this man. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at the sheikh. Look at the sheikh. Look at the sheikh. Look at the sheikh. He's teaching the dars. He, he. Inna lillah wa inna ilaha. Wise people are three. Those who leave the dunya before the dunya leaves them. Those who build their graves before they enter. And those who love Allah before you meet him. You want to be wise? Love Allah before you meet him. Build your grave before you die. And leave the dunya before it leaves you. Go to the masjid. You want to this? Always go to the masjid. Look, a man, he's leading salat, he dies. The light is not good here. He was leading his wife and children and he died. That's why you should always tell your father and mother, I'm sorry. He may die, never come back. Thank you for uh, helping us uh, watch this. Yalla, go back, go back. MashaAllah. So the person will say, my wealth didn't help me. My power didn't help me today. Cannot help me. Yes, mister. Then Allah tells him, look at verse 30. Yalla. It will be said, seize him and fitter him. When, when that person says, my words didn't help me, my power gone. Where are my bodyguards? Where are my soldiers? Where are the police? Where are the soldiers? I used to. Uh, an angel will call. Take him. Seize him. Not even take him. Take is sometimes nice. Say, sir, come follow us. No. Seize him. And what? Fitter him. What is fitter him? Shackle him. They will be shackled, look, from their necks, from their hands, and from their legs. Because these are criminals. God created them, they worshipped another God. God gave them food, they say thank you to somebody else. Allah sent the rain, they go do something else. For us, inshallah, we will not be amongst them. Say Amin. Take him where? Seize him where? Shackle him where? Natasha. Where? Take him where? Read. 31. Oh my God. Seize him. Fetter him. Shackle him. Throw him where? In Jahannam. Yes. Not in jail. There is no jail. Uh oh. Is that the end? Now he's burning, he's burning, burning, and whenever his skin turns ugly, Allah gives him another skin. He's, no, 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 more, more, more. What is it? Look at verse 32. Nadia? Allahu Akbar. And then fasten him with a chain whereof the length is 70 cubits. 70 dira. Look at me. Dira is this. From my finger all the way to here. This is called 70 is 35 meters. 35 meters. The chain is 35 meters. That person is chained with it. Do you know how heavy it is? Rasulullah explains. You think it's a normal chain? Yalla, think, think of the biggest chain in your mind. What is it? The one that anchors a ship? Maybe. It's a huge, you know, the anchor. Then the ship. 
Wow, it's anchor. Huge, no. The chain, one, one dangle. What do you call those? Ring. The ring of a chain is heavier than the mount of Uhud, Rasulullah said. <laughs> 35 meters. Go move it. If, if I put just a small ball, a huge ball of iron here and tie you up, you can't move. How about when you are chained with a chain, the, 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 the ring of it is, equals the mountain of, her, of, of Uhud. The, the height, the, 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 sorry, the, the weight. Whoa. So they think, uh, you think Allah created you for nothing. You think children Allah created you just to go to school. And then answer back your mothers. I don't want to eat. Leave me alone. It's my life. Is your life? Who gave you life? After Allah, who? Who gave you life? Listen to me. Talk to me. Who gave you life? After Allah. Your parents. If your father didn't marry your mother, you wouldn't be here. So you show respect, huh? If I hear any noise, you will, I will break your heads. Especially the boys. How about the girls? You don't show you are naughty. When you see show shakes over here, you look like angels. As soon as the car turns this way or this way, give me this, that's mine, this mine. Be good. Be good so that Allah doesn't do a, a bad end to you. You die, you die like that man, he was sujood. That man went early to masjid, Allah said, come to me, I give you Jannah. Mm. You saw with your own eyes, the guy was having fun dancing. True. My bye. The other ones, piano, piano players, careful. How about Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim? Wajah Fir'aun wa man qablahu wal mu'tafikat. Allah ya Allah. Then you die. Mashallah. Today I tell you a story of a 16 years old child, young kid. 16. Who is 16 here? You didn't even reach 16. No, the girls now, boys. He was already in the masjid. Adhan al-Fajr, his father didn't wake him. He woke up by himself. He loves Allah. He was reading his Quran, then the Adhan. When the Adhan called, he closed and put it back. Like you take, you close. You put. When he put it back, he collapsed. They rushed him to the hospital. People took him to the hospital. The doctors tried to save him. They were sh trying to give him, you know, CPR and this. And the master doctor was holding his hand, trying to revive him. He told him like, uncle, I want to tell you something. So he brought his ear closer to his mouth because he couldn't hear him well. He told him something. The other doctors are trying to bring all type of, you know, material to save him. The doctor said, stop. They try, 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 try. The boy with a heavy tongue said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah and you. And turned towards his right. Good, good sign. He turned towards his right and died. The doctor said before he died, this boy could not even come here for the massive heart attack that he had. He should have died in the hospital, uh, in the masjid. He should have died where that happened to him. But Allah Azza wa wanted him to say something to that doctor. Allah could have taken him in the masjid. He said the massive heart attack, if it happened to a camel, it would have killed him instantly. The camel would have died instantly. But Allah Azza wa wanted these doctors to see something from this child. Young kid, 16. What did he say? The doctor cried and cried and cried. All the nurses, 
What's wrong with you? I mean, you saw worse than this. You saw accident, you saw trauma, you saw heads, you saw legs broken, you saw amputated bodies. He said, it's not what I see, it's what he told me. Do you know what he told him? He told him, uncle, uncle, please stop, stop trying to save me. I see my place in Jannah. He saw his place in paradise. That is the difference between a good boy, good girl, and a bad one. When we are dying, we will see things. Now we just believe in them. Allah says, believe in me, trust me. And we say, yes, ya Allah. So when we are dying, we will see something green, blue, mountains, water. You see your place, your house. Or you see blazing fire. That person panics, doesn't want to go. The other ones just say, let go. He may call you and say, my dear wife, let me go. Don't cry. Let me go. Because he sees better place than uh, paying taxes and uh, 6% GST and I don't know what. Takbir. Okay. By the way, in Jannah, no bills to pay. Children don't have no bills. Wait when you marry. Look at planets, mashallah. Sabar, my brothers, with your bills. Sabar. In Jannah, you pay nothing. You just get. Uh, Munir, be good. Love your mom more than anything. Accept Allah and His messenger. Don't worry about angels, they'll be your friends. Okay, good. Nasreen. Very good. Why Allah fastened him with a chain whereof the length is 70 cubits? Because he was not believing, that's all. If he just believed, what do you lose when you believe? Do you lose anything when you believe? Show me, Allah. What's it? Am I carrying a mountain on my shoulder because I believe in Allah? Oh man, I cannot take this. Man. We don't even carry anything. Maybe the people who think, if I believe in Allah, as if I will be holding the, uh, this mountain or that mountain. Be good and believe in Allah. What else? Next ayah. Bushra. And urged not on the feeding of the miskin. He did not care about Rohingyas. He did not care about Yemenis. He didn't care about Syrians. He cared only about himself and his wife and children, taking them to the nearest or the best Chinese restaurant. Homst, Sharia law. He used to drive all the way to Malacca to eat a fish, as if there is no fish in Klang area. Takbir. I know some people drive from here on the way to Penang to eat food. Astaghfirullah. What are you going for Penang? Wallahi, Sheikh, I'm going to eat. Huh? Astaghfirullah. Are we in Somalia here in Kuala Lumpur? There is no food? Fear Allah, fear Allah. Fear Allah, my brothers and sisters, when it comes to food. Here you waste a lot. Do you know how consuming you are, guys? The Malaysians? You are a consuming community. 24-7, Allahu Akbar. If you are just working the way you eat, Malaysia will be number one country in the world. Takmir. Serious. I love Malaysia, that's why I'm telling you, I don't even live in it. But dangerous 24-7. There should be like, like midnight, no, no food. If I was the ruler, midnight, no. Open at Fajr. One day I was, alhamdulillah, qiyamul layl. Around 3 a.m. I'm driving in Tamantun. Suddenly, restaurant fall. I said, what? Then I looked, a huge screen like this, soccer. Brazil versus Germany, 
90% of people sitting, Malays, Muslims. I stopped just to have a look, not to watch, to just have study. I said, La ilaha illallah. If it was for Qiyamul Layl, and it was Ramadan, if you remember. Qiyamul Layl. Oh, the Qiyamul Layl with a little chip, chapati, it's okay, Sheikh. Your Qiyamul Layl, no food. Your Qiyamul Layl, boring. And you scare us, you show us death. Because I want you to realize where you want to go. One day you'll say, Allah, Irham Sheikh, he was teaching us. He was. So, he was not believing in Allah. Nor did he care about the food of the needy. What else? Number three, what was his mistake? Just these two. Huh? People, he would have been saved. So Allah said, what does he have? What type of food he will eat? Let's see. Uh, Amani, 35. He has no friend today. All your friends of this dunya will leave you on the day of judgment. If you are a loser. No friends. A friend who used to play games with you and make you happy doesn't care about you anymore. They will lie, they will not care. Hey man, man, where are you going? I want to pray. Come we play. And you listen to him. No, you go pray. And pull him, pull him with you to pray. Then you go play, no problem. Okay, good. So what is his food? On the Day of Judgment, these people, they eat what in Jahannam? They eat food too. Yes, Zoha, uh, sister of Zoha. Are you sisters in Islam? Yeah, but not in family, yes. You. 36, look what they eat. I know, I'm, I'm aware of the time. Look what they eat. Oh my God, what's that again, again, again? Maybe you didn't hear? nor any food they will eat except filth from the washing of wounds. Rislil. Have you seen when they clean someone's leg after surgery? Amputated hand, the wound, the pass. Look at what they throw in hospital or clinic. That's their food. Huh? That's their food of Jahannam. The pass, the extract that comes from their bodies. When Allah grills them, when Allah is barbecuing them, the fat, especially the fat of haram, anything you eat from haram, it has to be punished by fire. That's why fathers fear Allah. If you don't care about yourself, care about your children. Don't feed them haram. Don't feed them haram if you really love your kids. Don't bring anything haram. We stop here. Who eats that food? The sinners. Sinners. The people who commit sin. May Allah save us and may Allah protect us. Prepare next surah. Practice it at home. Surah Al-Ma'arij. Sa'ala sa'ilun. Surah 70. And parents, please make sure your children prepare that surah. Ya Allah, Ya Tuhan Kami, give us the good end. Ya Allah, give us good end. Ya Allah, forgive our fathers and mothers. Forgive our brother Sheikh Tawfiq Sulaiman. May Allah forgive him. Haji Abdurrahman, the father of Sister Ira. May Allah forgive him as well. And all your loved ones, Haji Zakaria and his wife, may Allah give them good health. We miss them. I really miss them. Please convey my salam to them and say, if you don't come, Sheikh Zubair will come at midnight to disturb you. Takbir. Ya Allah, anyone here who is facing any trouble or problem, relieve him or her from that trouble, Ya Allah. Our children, the son of Brother Raja, may Allah give him Shifa. The brother of Brother Abu Shafiq, may Allah give him Shifa. The youth who are not married, may Allah give them very good spouses. More than they dream of. Ameen. Those who are married, may Allah make them content with what they have. Habis, you are stuck. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fil akhirati hasana.
وقنا عذاب النار السلام عليكم يلا يلا كويك شريفة خيرة. أوكي. إن شاء الله.